Hello, everyone, and welcome to the brand new Sparky Lyle Show here on SPN. I'm Paul Spahala, and it only makes sense that we start off this show by talking about the 1977 American League Cy Young Award, which for the first time ever was given to a relief pitcher in the American League, and that went to you. When, when the, you found out that you won the award, what was your reaction? I had to make sure somebody wasn't playing a prank on me, first of all. But I do want to say I should have won it in 72, without a doubt. I came in second, but that was still back when they just weren't going to give it to a relief pitcher. But when I did win it, I, I felt uh, ecstatic, never thinking that, you, you know, a relief pitcher is ever going to win anything like that. And, uh, but it was for the better of all relief pitching. I, I think relief pitching kind of got more noticed after that. And the other thing that, uh, that uh, went along with that Cy Young was, uh, you know, they started noticing that they didn't need to have that left-handed, right-handed combination. Just more, more noticeable things happened after that Cy Young Award, and Mike Marshall was the first one to win it. And, uh, I mean, he was in L.A., but I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it made the impact that mine did, and I, and I don't mean anything bad by that. But I, I just think that mine, uh, when I won mine, it had a bigger impact on the relief pitchers. Did you think for a while that no relief pitcher was going to get that recognition? Uh, because, again, it, it had traditionally been reserved just for starting pitchers. Well, hey, the starting pitchers were against it. I mean, they, they were. And, and there was talk about creating a, 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 an award for the relief pitchers. But there isn't ever going to, you can't create an award with the significance of the Cy Young. You just can't do it. And I, I think they've been very good. When a reliever does win the Cy Young Award now, I don't think you're going to hear any buzz whatsoever. Ah, you shouldn't have won it, you know, or, or whatever. Because they all know they can't win without that guy. But I look at it every day when I come through the door, and uh, it's a little tarnished now, but I'm leaving it just the way it is. <laughs> well, it's certainly a well-deserved honor. Thank you. You came into, your career came about when the, the save category was just instituted in 1969, so two years into your career. Did the save statistic oh. add to the value of the relief pitcher and thus add to the possibility of winning a Cy Young Award? A absolutely, it did. I mean, you know, it was so hard to get a save then, number one. I mean, you know, you, you, you had to t face the winning or tying run, and I mean, there, there wasn't no, any two ways about it. And, and back then, you know, uh, they would call you on the phone and say, hey, if so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so gets on, you're going to pitch to this guy. When you started your career, was it almost considered a demotion to be a relief pitcher? Or, or what, what was the feeling like when, when the first manager came to you and said, I'm going to put you in the bullpen? Well, I didn't take it as a demotion. I, I think I may have been the first guy that was actually groomed for relief pitching because when I signed with the Orioles, I went straight to spring training with no, or straight to the season without spring training. Boom. I got there. Jim Fry was a manager, and he says, I, I don't have anywhere to put you. I'm going to put you in the bullpen. So he did, and I pitched a couple nights down there, and I went in and told him, and I said, you know what? I says, I, I like it out there. And I says, you know, I can pitch every day. And he turned to me and he went, you can, can you? I said, yeah. Yeah, I can. I said, my arm doesn't get sore. And I think just from that little conversation right there, went through the Baltimore Orioles organization, and then, of course, the next year I was a Red Sox. But uh, I, I think from there, I, I never, not one time did I think that was a demotion. We thank you for watching the Sparky Lyle Show. We'll be back with more all season long. Somerville Aluminum sets the standard for best in class. For over three generations, we've seen products changing, processes changing. What hasn't changed about us is who we are. From our home to yours, we invite you to explore our new state-of-the-art showroom and visualize your dream. We want you to touch and experience the latest products so you can make the best choices. From kitchens and baths to windows, doors, and siding, we have it all. Be home assured with Somerville Aluminum.